QBC. I'm Rebecca Docherty and I'm your presenter for tonight. Coming up in tonight's update, we have our very own reporter Sean Rice giving you an update on the worldwide phenomenon of the condemned campaign a year on. Sean. Hello again. Just to remind you the story so far on the Quarrier's Condemned campaign, the four main themes are condition and location of houses, houses with no furniture in it, complex benefits, lack of rural housing. It's been a busy year so far, many of things have happened. The most important thing is the charter made by young people to address the issues. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sean. Now we can have a look at some of the things that these guys have been doing since the launch of the Condemned campaign. Well, Q2 was a big event happened up in Hamden a while back to basically start the launch of the Condemned campaign. It was organised by young people for young people. It had a massive, massive impact on quite a lot of people. You look around the room and you just see people deep in thought. It was, it's made quite an impact. A month after the campaign, we went to the Parliament to show our condemned campaign. Uh, it was round the round table with MSPs and other organisations. So organisations like Shelter, uh, Children in Scotland, anybody with an interest in children and young people and homelessness, and the young people were able to show their DVD and to explain to other stakeholders what it was that we were trying to achieve and what the reality of their life was like. So Scottish Youth Parliament where um, young people represent either constituencies or myself I represent a charity which is obviously Quarriers. I, I presented the Condemned campaign to everybody that was there. Um, there was like over 200 people there. However there wasn't supposed to be a vote on that day because it wasn't a member's motion. I just covered for somebody. However it was received that well that people were saying that they should take a vote so they took a vote and 95% of the people were behind the Condemned campaign. What came for that is a young person's housing charter so what we need to do now is take Take the Young Persons Housing Charter to the Scottish Youth Parliament, put it forward as a member's motion um, and hopefully because the Condemned campaign was perceived quite well and this is like the next thing from it, um, that will be perceived quite well as well and um, we'll be able to, hopefully they'll back that as well as they did and we'll be able to take it forward on a much um, bigger scale nationally. We try to visit all of the party conferences over the course of a year. So we had Sean and Asher came with uh, Phil and myself to uh, the party conference. We went to Inverness, we showed the DVD and we had a panel uh, that was hosted, chaired by Shona Robson, the Minister for Public Health. They were really very interested in what the young people had to say. Masses and masses of questions. From that we had offers of help from politicians, both local and national, and it was very successful. Did you manage to talk to the housing people about the campaign? Well, I knew that you mentioned it, um, myself and Asha. Um, we went to Edinburgh with the housing strategy officers mm -hmm. um, from all over Scotland. Yeah, that was in January there. Um, and we went um, to represent the VIP group and we showed them the Condemned campaign, obviously DVD. And then afterwards they asked us some questions. Mm -hmm. Some of the questions were really good, however, some are obviously quite trying. Um, however, we dealt with them the best we could and we obviously both of us emphasised that the issues that were affecting young people, it wasn't just in one specific area, it was across the whole of the country. So it turned out quite, quite good. Oh, that's brilliant then. Thanks. At least we're getting something done there. Eh? I know, well, no, nothing happens overnight. But I know. Keep plugging away and plugging away. But, At least we're uh, doing it, but making a wee mm. change for people. It's brilliant. Pretty exciting stuff there, those guys have been busy throughout the year. Now I'm going to hand you over to our very own reporter, Sean Rice, who is live from Edinburgh Castle. Sean, over to you. Thanks, Bex. Well, I'm standing here this evening outside Edinburgh Castle. It's January, it's cold. The event this evening is an invitation by Alex Salmon for organisations for young people to get their voices heard. I'm standing with one of your young people. Hi, after we were able to showcase the DVD with uh, the Condemn campaign, to Alex Salmond and Tam Bailey, the Children's Commissioner. We were able to have a private meeting with them and talk with them and see what they're saying. They really did pay attention and we're also able to showcase and talk with other young people and organisations and it did make us all feel like it was an important event and people paid attention and really do care. Thanks Bex, back to you. Thanks very much Sean, wow the atmosphere looks great down there. 
now going to show you some more of the stuff that these guys have been up to throughout the year. It just keeps rolling on. It was the 5th of February when we went up, played against the MSPs and they well cheated us out it. They'd played together before and um, we got beat 8-3. Uh, I was just under the impression it was just a game of football, so that was me happy. But afterwards, walked into a conference suite and there was the launch of the charter happening. A couple of the boys went up and spoke about the charter, what it was about, and I just thought that's, that's a brilliant idea. Our charter, information, I will be informed of the rules I need to know and the way that I can understand. I will get a step-to-step -step guide to things I need to know about my house, like gas and electricity meters. My house. I will not be offered a house where I do not feel safe or where I'm cut off from my friends, family and support networks. When I move in. It will be painted and any repairs done. My house will not be damp. The way I am treated. I will not be judged because I am a young person. Support. Support will be easily accessible through a dedicated helpline number or a one-stop shop. After the launch of the Charter, Ken McIntosh, MSP, put down a parliamentary motion that the Parliament congratulates the charity Quarriers on the launch of its Young People's Charter, asks that all MSPs fully support the campaign to improve life for the homeless and vulnerable young people in Scotland. Chartered Institute of Housing. Scottish Homelessness Information and Empowerment Network. Community Recycling Scotland. Shelter. Scottish Federation of Housing Associations. Universities. Over the last year, the Condemn Campaign and the Young Persons Housing Charter has got a lot of media coverage. Here is a selection. In March 2010, uh, MSP for Housing, Alex Neil, who visited the Stopover Project in Glasgow and he met with a group of young people to discuss the charter and the eight, uh, what we were aiming to change. Um, we spoke to him for maybe an hour or so and he said he was going to take in what we had said and try and put it forward and lobby Parliament. The best part of it, I think, so far was we were trained up to be peer mentors and we went to Perth and led a residential on citizenship and democracy. We were up there for five days and it was absolutely amazing. We actually learned quite a bit, like myself, I didn't really know a lot about voting. Anything we basically do on a daily basis involves politics, so we learned that we all have to make our own part and make our story happen, basically. Because if we didn't have politics, like, it would be a bit mad. Like, we uh, need to like, the rules and stuff to go by. Also brought my confidence up as well. You know. We learned how much that us voting for what we believe in can change so much that happens to us daily. Yeah, because yeah. uh, politics also involves housing as well, so and that's what the condemned thing was all about. And so basically, if you get the right amount of politi uh, politicians sorry behind, you might actually be able to get some things changed. Because some of the things you actually do get is really bloody atrocious. And the only way to change things is to vote yeah. for change. Yeah. But also taught you like how to like. Get yourself registered if you're not registered. Uh, uh, we designed a how to vote guide for young people in Scotland and we're in the process of that getting made up. And as well, if like if you don't have a proper accommodation, you stay in a hostel, you can still get a chance to vote. You can also do a postal, so you can vote that way as well. I think everybody pretty much came back for the yeah. residential, feeling more confident about themselves. It allowed me to meet new people on that and to realise that I don't need to hide myself away because I'm homeless or anything. And I can just push myself out into the world and there would be a chance for me either way. We all did it as a team, as a group, we all. Not So I was soldiered on. Well, it showed us all a sense of democracy, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We don't need to sit separate as a single individual when we can all be a group stronger together. At the start of October we went to the Parliament at Holyrood and sat in a petitions committee and put forward our charter to a load of MSPs that were sitting in. They thought it was very reasonable what we were asking for. So young people know that 
it's they've got rights as well as any other normal person. So they're going to like write to like local authorities and stuff about it. Um, to get it uh, out shelter mm -hmm. and Department for Work and Pensions. Yeah. Going to write to them to get the Young People's Charter hopefully put forward into motion. The MSPs were going to write a letter to Westminster, wasn't it? The Petitions Committee are Aye, writing. that's what I mean, a Petition Committee is going to write. They're writing to Westminster. Mm -hmm. On behalf of everybody else. On behalf yeah. of everybody for the uh, Housing Charter. Because it would be fine if we wrote it and stuff, but as long as they know that we actually took this to Holiday and stuff, so they're behind us, too, so we can get a better thing really mm -hmm. now. So it's for young people, by young, young people. people. They've got links and connections that people in our situation will never have and they can speak to other organisations about getting involved in making the changes in a better way of life for young people and trying to adapt the benefit system and to making sure that people get the right start when they get into their houses so that they're not setting themselves up to fail because nobody wants them to. And finally for today's news as you know, this has been going, going on throughout the year and it's gathered a large volume of people who have got on board. Let's hear a few thoughts from these people. Um, well, I think it's great that the young people are getting involved and really sending this message out. Um, and hopefully I can be a part of it. I think it's really important that young people have a voice and get in there and vote. So if by joining this campaign, it builds your confidence up with groups of people and you make new friends as well. So I think it's really important and it's done a really good thing. What I learned from how much I've done of it was fantastic. I what we're entitled to and how to vote. A lot of work has went into the whole Condemned um, campaign. It's not just been a year, it's took a few years and a lot of hard work has gone in and it's, it's amazing to see where we were then to where we got now and the whole transition that we've made as young people as well. Um, we've learned so much, so much um, about other people and where they come from as well as we've learned, uh, we've improved uh, skills within ourselves. I think it's a really amazing thing that we've managed to be able to do and, and it's also helped build my confidence and made me feel more human, like uh, being homeless and that has built me up. So I think we should keep on going with it, do our best, and thanks, peace. Probably one of the best things I've heard about for quite a while, for that, for help, to help our young people understand that they don't have to take the first house they've got. So we wait out for something better, don't just fold it the first offer. We've started to get people to sign up to our charter, a young homeless charter, and I'd just like to say thanks to everybody that put the effort in, all the work. Uh, all the meetings, all the conferences, everything we have done, I think it's been brilliant. It's amazing to see how the condemned campaign has been perceived by people and we should all be proud, um, everybody that took part, we should be proud of what, what we've achieved and accomplished because um, it's good stuff. Yeah, I think the condemned campaign is worthwhile. It's, used, it's actually more, a lot worthwhile to help all the people that are homeless get a decent house that isn't quite literally falling apart or got mould. I just think that it's gave me something to occupy myself with and I've met amazing people and had amazing opportunities that I would never have had to speak to people I could never have dreamed of meeting. Um, and I think it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's given me so many opportunities to better my, better my life and try and help people that have been in the same circumstances that I have over the years. I want to know why people are homeless and why it is so hard to get accommodation. A lot of young people actually know that now and don't believe they actually have the right to get something better for themselves. And I think that's actually just the best fair thing to say for them now. They do deserve it. I mean, they've had a, a rubbish deal with things, so why should they get a rubbish house? I think it's important because there's homeless people out there that don't, don't know why they're homeless and why and don't see a solution. I think it will take a lot of commitment, um, a lot of hard work, and a lot of people coming together. What will make a difference is people that are actually delivering services to, for, and with young people to take on board what they say they need. Um, and now we intend to take the VIP and roll it out across the whole of Scotland so that we can give young people a voice all over Scotland and they can start a campaign for 
things that they feel need to be changed. It's not really about having to change anything dramatically. It's just getting organisations to work together and gel together properly, be doing what everybody should have been doing for day one. So get involved, guys. Yeah.